Hey everybody, what's up? Oh. Can you hear me or not? Microphone right there, maybe you can still hear me. So, today I'm going to do a little kind of a first look at Markham's Romer Lithium Shuttle. Okay, um, I literally haven't taken this apart. I or, or nothing, you know, I got to look at it a little bit last year. I had seen one uh, very briefly, but, you know, I, I really like the look of it. I like the options on it, um, you know, places to put your transducer. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and not to mention it, it comes with their new Impact 6 amp Ampower Lithium Battery. So we're going to take this out, and I'm going to put my Markham... M1 on this and bear with me because I I mean other than looking at the the pack um, physically I don't ex exactly know what to expect here but I think it's gonna be fantastic addition for my M1 and I mean honestly a lot other um, flashes as well let's see here Okay, there it was in the box. Here we go. Let's see here. My first thoughts. So, first thoughts. I like it. It's small. It's compact. It's got a soft case here. The sides have, I mean, it feels like some sort of a little bit harder shell, I suppose, to uh, take some bumps and bruises. Handle on the top. I like that. Um... I, you know, especially for just carrying it around, doing hole op and so on and so forth. Let's see what we got inside this bad boy. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the back of it and look here, see what I got. Okay, there we go. There is that battery right there. The negative is unhooked, as you can see. A couple little straps here to help you close that zipper on the front it looks like there's a little strap here pull both of these zippers up like so that way you have access to the front of it here we go Romer lithium shuttle got a little flyer right inside let's see here Markham warranties this product to be free from defects and materials it's a one-year warranty it's got the Markham impact battery well that honestly looks very very simple from what I'm what I'm from what I'm seeing here okay 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 looks like we have with it a charger yep there's a charger for this battery here it's kind of nice it has the uh, it has the quick port on here charge your battery got the battery sitting right in front I can see on both sides here is the area for putting your uh so there's your your gimbal or whatever for your charging port um i can see there's you know there's holes here larger holes i think i'm um, pretty sure these are for uh like putting your transducer in there so on and so forth oh look at that hey look at, you know what so markham has this this cool let's see if i can show it to you in the back here Marker has this cool little um, USB port, pretty much. See this here? There's a little tiny um, USB plug that is included with these, which is really nice because then on this side here, look at you have two USB connections. Yeah, so you can charge. I mean, you can charge whatever you want. Anything that has a USB port in it, you can charge it. Stick your phone in here charge it you know and so on and so forth that's perfect okay don't mind me give me two seconds here okay literally have my gimp my uh little, the knobs that hold my m1 on got my m1 unit itself okay can be careful remove these plugs on the back like so there we go 
remove my plug, remove my transducer. Now I can see that I, you know you do need to uh, see here. You do need to remove the arm here, so you're gonna need a wrench or something on that order to remove that. <clears throat> Ideally, you should have a small socket to remove this arm. I have a very tiny channel lock though that I'm gonna use to remove this transducer arm, which is gonna be easy. There we go. I have removed my transducer arm very fast. Okay. And what I'm what I'm gonna do is let's see here. I'm gonna take my transducer. Okay. I'm actually gonna put it. You can put it inside the pocket here. You see that? I'm gonna put it in, inside the pocket here. But before I do. What I'm going to do is run this, see this right here? There's a hole inside here. I'm going to run it right through this hole here, okay? So I got this out here. <clears throat> also, power cable. This is actually really, really simple. Just looking here. Okay, I'm going to hook up my power cable real quick. Screw that on there. Got my transducer cable. Just make sure and line those holes up the proper way. There we go, push it on. Turn that on there. All right. Make sure this isn't upside down, because it was. I'm just gonna set this back to about where I want it in here. Pulling up, I'm just pulling the, pulling the extra cable out of my transducer here because that transducer is going to sit in the pocket over here okay put the gimbal knob right through into the unit tighten it up gimbal knob through the other side into the unit tighten it up All right, so there you have the unit mounted. Now I can take my extra cord here, stow it in my little pocket so it's out of the way. And normally what I like to do is I'll get one, you can get a like a, a twisty tie of some sort to you know, because you don't, you're not going to be using, you know, 10 feet of cable or whatever. Take the cable you think, put a little twisty tie around it, put it in that door, you know, around the cable right there. So when you're pulling this deucer out, it's not pulling everything out. There we go. I can literally close this side of my pocket now. My transducer arm. that on the top here run it down and through ooh that's nice there we go there we go look at that got the transducer arm in there that literally took me I don't know just a couple minutes um geez yeah, there we go. Put whatever you want on the other side of the pocket here. Take this. Zip it back up. <clears throat> on the back here now, obviously you just hook up these power cables. Okay, so you, you have both power cables here. Here is the battery cable that is hooked to the back of your marking unit. Here we go. Or, you know, here we go. Oops. That one goes on there. Let's squeeze these a little bit, it looks like.
one. There's two. Got both them pushed on there. So, I mean, now literally there should be really no reason I need to take this back off at all. Okay. Put the back on there. Zip that shut. There we go. Just like that. I think this bad, you know, bad boy set up. That right there took me, honestly, like between, I'm, I'm telling you, I just pulled out of the box. I didn't even look at the directions or nothing on that order. But... There we go. I have my M1 all set up for hard water. And I honestly, I really, I really like this setup. I mean, it's nice and it's light. Got a lithium battery in there. I'll be able to go for a long time without having to charge it. And, uh, you know, I, I really like the fact that the transducer isn't back behind here, kind of tangled up. It is tucked away real nice in the side here. USB ports on the other side here. I don't know. That is something nice, if you ask me, you guys. I really like that. Anyway, there we go. Light as can be. It almost feels like there isn't even nothing in there, to be honest with you. But, yeah, there we go. First look at the Markham Romer Lithium Shuttle, you guys. Um, I'll put their link in the description if you guys want to go and find one of these online. And get yourself one. Thanks for watching. I was